We had a mad scramble to keep up with the changes that clinically were taking place. We had to reconfigure the entry points to the hospital. We had to expand our on-site PPE store. So that's now about 10 times bigger than it was, uh, just to accommodate what we were burning through on a daily basis. Basically, when you look inside the cubicle, what you see in that room has to be cleaned. Every single thing. We knew we had a job to do. We knew lives depended on it, which it did not only ours, not only the rest of the staff, but the patient as well. We had to make sure those rooms were cleaned properly. We buddied up, team got together, worked well together and got the job done each day. We just started recruiting in terms of, you know, we needed, we knew we were going to need, you know, all hands on deck. Did we know how many hands on deck? Not a hope in hell did we know that. We needed a hell of a lot of staff than we ever thought we did. Yeah, you know, we recruited in excess, in three months, we recruited in excess of 300 extra staff. But we could have done, at some points there, with 600 plus staff. We were physically, mentally exhausted. Um, but we stuck it out. We're here to tell the story. <laughs> but, you know, it was, it was hard. I wouldn't wish it upon anyone. There was a plan in place for Hotels for Heroes, but then it started ramping up and we were running out of hotels really quickly. We placed over 220 plus staff into hotels. Everyone was doing this for the right reasons and you knew that what you were doing was helping somebody. Not only were the, our clinical colleagues banding together to create this new way of doing business, the back of house support staff were doing the same sorts of things, so supporting the clinical groups. Team and ED are fantastic, doctors, nurses, clerks, Everyone down there, we all pulled together and worked as a team. They were, they're fantastic.